buddy. I'm gonna do a quick video, I hope it's a quick video, on a GoPro Hero 4. I've had this camera for at least seven months and I haven't put any videos up with it yet. I've, I've been playing with it and practicing with it. I have uh, been editing other other photo stuff in the GoPro app on my computer because I mean it, it's really a wonderful app it does so much um, I still don't know a huge amount about the camera there's plenty of stuff out there though and a lot of you already have the GoPro and all of its amazing app, uh, accessories it comes in a case like this that apparently doesn't want to open okay it's a very solidly constructed case. You see here we got two batteries. This was the only negative that I could actually find about the GoPro is the battery life is bad. It, it, hours, it lasts about an hour and a half and then you gotta change it out. Now you can leave it somewhere if you're doing a, a some kind of scenery or something. If you can plug it into an electrical outlet where it's or have it put have it where it's going to be dry, it'll be fine. Or if you uh, put ex plug it into an extended life um, portable battery, like in my other video, well that that would extend it out for probably eight or nine hours. So that would be okay. It comes with two separate cords, and both of them, either one of them, can charge it uh, from a power supply. And they both are USB, so they hook to your computer. You'll need an SD card. The bigger, the better. It comes with this back door that you do not have to put on at all times. But if you're going to be outside near the weather, this is what you need to film underwater and everything. But you're not going to get any um, audio if you put that on there. Now, here's the the little fella right here. All right, that's that's it. It's in a case. I can pop, take it out of the case. And this is an amazing little little thing with sad battery life, but that's just the way it is. It does Wi-Fi to your telephone or whatever, so you can actually watch whatever you're video and you can watch it on your telephone right here's where the battery is you push this forward flip it over and the battery pulls right out right there okay right here is where your power supplies go in and your SD card is pretty simple I, I wasn't I was very impressed with this and then just the other night I, I I bought another camera because I want to do cityscapes in Chicago and Milwaukee and stuff at nighttime I find these things very beautiful I did not even realize this but the GoPro does do this it has a night setting and it turned out very nice now you're not going to get any distance with these with the GoPro because this has no magnification there may be something that can attach to it and give you some magnification I haven't looked into that yet but as you'll see in the next video I done went out and purchased a big another big a big camera for that for that kind of stuff uh, another thing that these have with it or, or you have to purchase them separately that I found very nice is they have accessories for everything it will probably take out the trash if you ask it to now I don't have everything I have a bunch more stuff at home but a few things that I do have this is a head strap it kind of looks like it's a, a a weird device but it goes right on your head and so you can do things hand free actually I should have it on right now shouldn't I it has a body harness you know you can get a body harness that's that, that's pretty cool 
a lot of these things are they're all aftermarket oh that's for the dog they they're not even um gopro certified products but uh they're they're that that's what that's what they're sold for a lot of the knockoff gopro you know they're not actually knockoff but they're still products that are exa exactly like the gopro they, they're made everything fits in these these things and i would look at the firefly and the other options for your gopro i forgot what i what i paid for this i think it was like 350 dollars 400 dollars 450 i don't know it, it was it was a little pricey but it but um, not that it's been worth it yet but it's really gonna be worth it like i said you can go underwater and everything if you're going to be on a canoe trip you could take it uh i'm getting ready to get a mount so i can attach it to the outside of my truck so i can watch bug guts splatter against the front of it that'll be kind of funny maybe uh, so yeah i would definitely recommend the gopro but if you're going to be more limited in the money you spend there there's another option that might be a little bit better for some people thanks